Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My name is Father John Corrigan. I'm a country priest from the Diocese of Ballarat in Victoria. And later this month, Ballarat celebrates its 150th anniversary of the diocese's erection. So I'm sure all of us here in this Mass View at Home community will join in praying for Bishop Paul for all the faithful of the Ballarat Diocese, with gratitude, Ballarat's a great supporter of this program. Pray as well for ourselves as we call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Tormented by thirst, the people complained against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt? They said, was it so that I should die of thirst, my children too, and my cattle? Moses appealed to the Lord. How am I to deal with this people? He said, a little more and they will stone me. The Lord said to Moses, take with you some of the elders of Israel and move on to the forefront of the people. Take in your hand the staff with which you struck the river and go. I shall be standing before you there on the rock at Horeb. You must strike the rock and water will flow from it for the people to drink. This is what Moses did in the sight of the elders of Israel. The place was named Massa and Meribah because of the grumbling of the sons of Israel and because they put the Lord to the test by saying, is the Lord with us or not? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Romans. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by faith, we are judged righteous and at peace with God, since it is by faith and through Jesus that we have entered this state of grace in which we can boast about looking forward to God's glory. This hope is not deceptive because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. We are still helpless when at his appointed moment, Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die even for a good man, though of course for someone really worthy, a man might be prepared to die. But what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, O King of endless glory. Lord, you are truly the Saviour of the world. Give me living water that I may never thirst again. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, O King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to the Samaritan town called Sychar, near the land that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well is there. And Jesus, tired by the journey, sat straight down by the well. It was about the sixth hour. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, What? You are a Jew, and you ask me, a Samaritan, for a drink? For Jews, in fact, do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus replied, If you only knew what God is offering, and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have been the one to ask, and he would have given you living water. You have no bucket, sir, she answered, and the well is deep. How could you get me this living water? Are you a greater man than our father Jacob, who gave us this well and drank from it himself with his sons and his cattle? Jesus replied, Whoever drinks this water will get thirsty again, but anyone who drinks the water that I shall give will never be thirsty again. The water that I shall give will turn into a spring inside them, welling up to eternal life. Sir, said the woman, give me some of that water so that I may never get thirsty and never have to come here again to draw water. I see you are a prophet, sir. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain while you say that Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. Jesus said, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know. For salvation comes from the Jews. But the hour will come. In fact, it is here already. When true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. That is the kind of worshipper the Father wants. God is spirit. And those who worship must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah, that is Christ, is coming, and when he comes, he will tell us everything. I who am speaking to you, said Jesus, I am he. Many Samaritans of that town had believed in him on the strength of the woman's testimony. So when the Samaritans came up to him, they begged him to stay with them. He stayed for two days, and when he spoke to them, many more came to believe. And they said to the woman, Now we no longer believe because of what you told us. We have heard him ourselves, and we know that he really is the Saviour of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's been said that the Gospel is not the story of humanity seeking God. The Gospel is the story of God 
seeking humanity. It's especially true in today's gospel. Here we find Jesus seeking this Samaritan woman whom he knows, whom he loves. And we can see three parts to his seeking. So in the first place, Jesus invites, give me a drink, he tells the Samaritan woman. Well, as disciples of the master, we have to invite also, or better, we have to be inviting. How? How can we be inviting? By showing real interest in others, by showing them our affection. And we all have family and maybe friends who find our Catholic beliefs offensive. These are the people for whom we must especially show interest and affection and unconditional love without any other agenda, just friendship for its own sake. So perhaps it's a niece who has come out of the closet, a relative who was married outside the church, a friend who has a grudge against the church, perhaps righteously. Hopefully we have no problem with these people. We love them. But do they know that we love them? You know, it's easy for the injured to interpret silence as contempt. So we have to reach out to them. We have to be inviting, as Jesus was inviting to this Samaritan woman. So in the second place in Jesus' seeking, he, he gives. I can give you living water. Now, obviously, this living water is the gift of Jesus to give, not ours. But he does give us power to give what we have received. So the question is, have I received this living water? I think the well in today's gospel can be likened to our addictive desires. So what well do I return to again and again? This is a good question for us to ask, especially during Lent. Where do I seek satisfaction again and again and again, only to be disappointed? It could be food, alcohol, gambling, sex, or maybe something more subtle, an unhealthy compulsion, a need for praise, a jealous and possessive relationship. In Lent, we forget about that well. We focus our attention again on Jesus because it's only Jesus who can fulfill our ultimate desires. Now in the third place, only in the third place of his seeking does Jesus demand change. Only after he invites and gives. In the same way, we can only demand change of others only after we've loved them and loved Jesus. And if we're going to ask change of others, we have to demand change of ourselves first. Hence, this season of Lent. So let's pray that we can heed the demands that Jesus is asking of us. If we let him help us to change us, we can help him to change the world. So now let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. So let us draw now to the well of life and place our needs before the God of all. That the Church will be the wellspring for all who thirst for God. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer that those who prepare for baptism will move forward with courage and conviction. 
Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That we who are gathered for Mass for you at home today will turn away from sin and put our personal lives in order. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, fount of life, you offer us living water springing from the rock of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Hear our prayers and increase our faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Affirms my soul for you, the God who is my life. When shall I see? When shall I see? See the face of God. As the deer longs for running streams, so I long, so I long, so I long for you. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings, and grant that we who beseech pardon for our own sins may take care to forgive our neighbour through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For when he asked the Samaritan woman for water to drink, he had already created the gift of faith within her, and so ardently did he thirst for her faith that he kindled in her the fire of divine love. And so we too give you thanks, and with the angels praise your mighty deeds as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, 
fall by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Should you pay the price 
Ανοίξε φωτανό As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks. Thanks. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Calvary Healthcare and Cath News, your daily Catholic news service. Hi, I'm Father Mark de Batista, the chaplain for Mass for You at Home. On behalf of all those involved, I want to thank you for your support, be it spiritual or financial. Without your help, we cannot keep this ministry going. If I may be of assistance to any of you, feel free to reach out to me. May God bless you. <laughs>